Uh, I'm from Manchester, I studied landscape architecture at MMU, Manchester School of Architecture, and I'm in the real estate and architecture industry. Um, I've been working on like a massive conceptual project, it's um, a huge sort of agricultural design. Um, I'm actually working for an architecture company, but I've got a background in landscape architecture, so the reason they wanted me there is because the project that they're doing the master plan for is quite landscape orientated, so he said that it was good to have a landscape architect in the office to work on that, so he's sort of given me quite a lot of freedom to just come up with my own ideas, do a lot of research into the master plan, and then at the minute I'm currently actually drawing up like my design ideas, and it's been a sort of back and forth process with my boss and other colleagues, and we've been having design meetings and uh, developing like some of my ideas, and then he's given me some advice on the ideas, and we've gone from there at each stage. Since I've been here, like the, my boss, who is actually quite high up in the company, actually takes so much time out of his own schedule, and he's a busy man. He takes up so takes out so much time to actually spend time talking to me, seeing how I'm doing, you know giving me feedback on my design ideas, and then the rest of the colleagues that I work with, not all of them speak great English, but like they do, put, they do make an effort, and I'm learning Chinese as well, so it's good for me to try and speak to them in Chinese, and they're trying to learn English through me. Oh. But um, I go for lunch with them every day, they show me different, go take me to different restaurants around the area, show me different foods from all, all different provinces of China. So on Friday, for instance, went to a, a chili party restaurant, which is Szechuan food, which is like supposed to be the spiciest, which was quite spicy, but it was nice. And then um, last night, I actually went to a barbecue with them all, at one of their apartments on the rooftop. And they've been like so good as well, I've really enjoyed it. Our teacher's called Daisy, she came out with us on Saturday night as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Daisy's a really good teacher. Like the, the man in the school was really good. Like, I've, I've actually worked a surprising amount. Like, I didn't think I'd be able to say as much as I can at this point. Like, I've been, I think because you live in the environment as well, it's easier to pick up. So the lessons are just like a basis. And then when you actually live here, it's quite easy to pick up run things and practice what you've already learned. I think it would have been a completely different experience without the other interns. I think we've actually like developed quite a pretty closely like tightly knit friend group. Um, everyone's really friendly, like because because everyone's in the same boat, I think you find that everyone's everyone's quite similar as well because you've got to be sort of I think you've got to be a certain you've got to have a certain level of motivation to come to China and do an internship. Yeah. So I think everyone is quite on a similar wavelength, which means that everyone gets gets on really well, like really naturally. So when we came, the interns that were already here were really friendly, introduced us to a lot. And now we've been here for a month and the new interns have arrived, like, we've kind of done the same thing and, and tried to help them out. And it, I think it works quite well, that the overlap, because you can learn a lot from the previous month's interns. Um, I think surprisingly, there's, there's a few things, but I think surprisingly the food. Yeah. Because in England I'm not a massive like Chinese, Indian fan, like, I don't really like spicy foods that much, but since I've come out here, I've just sort of dived in head first and thought, I'm going to try everything at least once. And like, I've been pleasantly surprised like 99% of the time. There's, no, there's not really been any problems with the food either. Like, a lot of people say, like, you come to China and you might have a few issues with the food. But I've actually had no issues whatsoever. Like, the food's been really nice. Um, I'd just say, I'd say do it. I'd say it's probably not as, not, I don't think it's as difficult as I expected. I'm not really, I think like, I've, I think everyone, I think I'm speaking for everyone here as well, like all my, all my friends that I speak to from part one, from the, the other interns, everyone seems to have sort of like settled in quite, quite easily and quite well. I think that's because like the support you get from CRCC, all the other interns, the staff at like the apartment and things, like every, everything runs quite smoothly, whereas I thought there might be more difficulties than, than there have been.